Hello, my name's Rianne from Dragons and Daffodils Cakes and today we're going to make some ganache. Now I'm going to make some white chocolate ganache which means I have 600 mils of double cream and I have, hang on, 18, 1.8 kilos of white chocolate. Now the reason for that is you have a ratio of one to three. So if you wanted to do dark chocolate, your ratio would be one to two. And milk chocolate, I tend to do one to two and a half. So there you go. So that's all you need. All you need is the equipment here. We're going to be using the microwave method today. But can you see I've cut up my chocolate into very small pieces? Uh, so if it comes in a bar size, cut each of the blocks in the bar to at least uh, a third or a quarter. First thing I'm going to do is put my cream into the microwave until a rolling boil. So you'll see what that is when I show you. Now you can hear that microwave burbling away and it will take five to six minutes. So let's fast forward to five or six minutes. And what I'm basically doing is watching my microwave and I'm watching the cream bubbling up and up and up. And I will whisk it out of the microwave to show you in just two seconds what it looks like. Can you see that? Really full on bubbly, isn't it? And it's, it's li literally moving. Now you're gonna need to wear an oven glove. I've got some little gloves on here because you're going to pour it straight over all of the chocolate. Keep your hands away because cream gets very hot as well. And don't be too tempted to sort of scrape away any of those bits on the side. Now, what will happen is it won't look like much is going on, but I wanted to actually show you the process. I'll do this a little bit sped up as well. But what I always do is gently push all of my chocolate under that cream a little. So the cream is what's going to melt the chocolate. So let's pop that underneath and I'm not stirring yet at all. Now I'm using a plastic bowl, so I'm putting my life in my hands a little bit really, but I'm doing this at the school and it's the only bowl I have in the school today. So only a few seconds have gone by. You can probably hear the ticking of the clock in the background in the school. Uh, the knife is there ready to cut the cling film because I'll be explaining that in a moment. You can see the odd few bubbles coming up a little bit. You can possibly see that the chocolate looks very liquid there. So we're going to fast forward this for two minutes just so that you can watch the ganache to see what happens. And then I will show you what it looks like when we stir it all in. We're just coming up to the two minutes now, but I just want to show you and just explain very briefly if I stirred the chocolate too soon, you're going to get an awful lot of lumps in the ganache. So I can see a couple of lumps in there, but the school is also quite cold today. So this could be the day it needs to go back in the microwave for maybe 10 seconds, but not yet. So the microwave in the end actually took five minutes instead of six, but it had a rolling boil. I couldn't leave it in any longer. Even though I've got a few lumps in my cream, I may still have to heat it a little bit longer. But I don't know if you can see, can you notice that the lumps are getting smaller and smaller the more that I stir? And I'm not whipping up the ganache. I'm not trying to incorporate air. I'm just pushing that cream around. Now, typically, normally, this happens totally in the two minutes and I don't have to do anything else. But it's always the way when you do a video, something doesn't go quite to normal plan. However, that's probably great as far as you're concerned, because you get to see what to do if it's a colder day like it is today. You can also use a bain marie instead of the microwave if you prefer. We're going to pop it in for 10 seconds now. And 10 does sound a stupidly low amount, but trust me, this ganache is going to change very quickly. So we'll do it 10 and maybe another 10. Okay, that's actually had 17 seconds now. So I'm just going to give it a gentle stir just to see what's happening. And I'm going to put it back in for another 10. You can feel the side of the bowl, whether it's glass or plastic, Different people have different uh, preferences. Usually I use glass in fairness, but this is uh, a lar the largest bowl we have in the school. So back in for 10 to 15. 
Now, at no point when this goes in the microwave is this ganache bubbling at all. It's actually ready now. The reason I can tell it's ready, can you see the slight glisten around the edges? So you're looking for a glossy peanut butter consistency appearance to your finished ganache. So I'm just going to quickly squash out the remaining couple of lumps that are there. And there aren't many. But can you see how beautifully thick it is? You also want it to look smooth in colour. So any little white streaks are slightly unmelted chocolate. Can you see that streak going through there? So we'll just keep stirring. But you can see I'm pressing rather than stirring. So even on a cold day, this is quite a nice batch of ganache. Now I'm using three to one now. In high summer, you can use 3.5 to one. And when I do sculpting with ganache, I use four to one. So the four to one just means that that ganache is more chocolate than it is cream, as they all are, but significantly more. And it means that I can add my noses onto my sculpted pieces or build up the noses more using ganache. Now this is ready. Can you see the Mr. Whippy appearance? That is what you're looking for with your ganache that Mr. Whippy, okay? I need to cover this straight away now. So I'm gonna get that lovely excess off. Can you see I've got as much away off the outside of my bowl as I can? I'm gonna get some cling film or saran wrap and I'm gonna press it down so it touches the surface of the ganache all the way round. Now this is to stop condensation so the the cling film is along the surface and up the sides removing as much air as possible i tend to leave this overnight at room temperature in a moderately temperature not a hot room if it is a warm day it needs to go into the fridge for between one and a half and four hours depending on the temperature so if it's very hot you might leave it in for a bit longer if it's only like a medium cool day the one and a half hours is usually enough. But you can't use your ganache straight away. It really must rest. So this is now my finished ganache. Oh, and by the way, the knife is there just to separate your cling film neatly. And always, always roll back a bit of the roll. Make it easier to get that cling film next time. There we go. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do su subscribe for the next videos. Don't forget to check out my how to ganache a cake video, how to ice a board and how to ice a cake for sharp edges. So happy caking. See you soon.